What's going on guys, Vin here. Happy New Year to everyone. I hope to grow my channel significantly this year and to add more tutorials. I have set a goal for myself. I hope to reach 500 subscribers by the end of the year. So I'm confident we can all make it happen. So let's get started. In this video, I will be showing you guys how you can perform a one-way fluid structure interaction in ANSYS. So this basically means importing load from a CFT simulation into an FEA simulation and then performing an FEA analysis on the problem. Over here, we will look at the pressure load over a wing, which was brought in from a CFD into an FEA. So here we are in the ANSYS program. The first thing I did was import the wing from a CAD software. It has to be in a step file if you prefer. And then the next step, I made an enclosure. This can be done by selecting tools, enclosure. So in my enclosure here, I have the following dimensions. You can set this to whatever you want. And once I import my two bodies, I will first have to subtract the wing from the, the enclosure, right? Because it should not be there for the CFD simulation. So the idea is to do a Boolean this can be done by simply going on create and boolean. I have already done it because, so that is why it shows a gray area. So once you select boolean, you, you have to, your, your target body will be the, the enclosure and your tool body will be the wing. And then your operation will be a subtract. So you, you have to subtract the two and then you will have the following outcome after. So that is my uh, my geometry conditions. I have named my inlet, my outlet, as well as my uh, my wing surface. If I click on them, our in inlet, outlet, and then my wing surface here. So that's it. That was quite easy. Let's take a look at the mesh. I am in fluent, by the way. So this is my CFD. So give it just a moment there. Let it open. So it has, op it has opened the mesh and here's my mesh. It is quite a standard mesh. I have set it to a specific size where the wing is. So these elements here, I've just set a maximum size here, as you can see, you can, my size function has been set to on proximity and curvature. My relevant center has been set to fine. I have the following dimensions here, just for example, but you can make it anything you want as long as your computer can handle it. It is a quite a dense mesh. I have a lot of nodes and elements, but that's mostly the case for a mesh like this. And I have set a sizing over, over the wing to do this, if you can see here. To do this, you wanna go on face sizing. So go on mesh and then select mesh control sizing and then select face sizing. And then if I go in my options here, you can see my geometry has been set to the wing surface. If I zoom out there, so that is my uh, my domain and my size has been set to five millimeters. This will depend on how big your wing is and how big you want the elements to be. And I set the behavior to hard because you want answers to follow that specifically and you don't want answers to change its own algorithm. So you have to set it to hard. So once I do that, I have the following mesh. As you can see, it is quite dense near the wing. And now the meshing is done. Let's move on to the CFD results. Let's look at how you can import this into an F. So here is my CFD. I will quickly show you the model before I go on to the pressure loading. So it is a quite a simple CFD. I have used a turbulent flow solver because the flow is not laminar. So I have the Spalart Almara model here. Everything here has been set to off because it is only a, a basic simulation. My boundary conditions of my inlet, as you can see here, it is set to 125 miles per hour because that is my speed of the vehicle. So that's my velocity in X direction because X is going along the wing surface. So you have to set that to what you want. And then everything else has been set to zero. And my outlet is obviously a pressure outlet because, and it has been set to zero atmospheric because we are 
in the atmosphere at sea level, I'm assuming. So that's my model there. It has already been solved. I used 500 iterations and then I used the monitor here. You can create this. You can create drag and lift on the wing. So if I select drag here, it can I can say wing surface and same with the lift. And if, if I wanted to converge within a specific value, what I can do is hit on residuals and change the numbers in here, the absolute criteria to the number you want. So for here, I said 10 to the power of negative six. So that's my CFD. And before I show you the fluid structure interaction portion of it, I will quickly show you the pressure load, which I want to import into my FSI. So this here is my pressure load, which I will import into my FEA simulation as a force. And this will be the crux of my fluid structure interaction tutorial. So before I move on to my FEA and show you all that, I will quickly show you the fluid structure interaction part of this tutorial, just as a heads up. So the detailed steps you want to perform is to first drag your solution into your setup here. And now double click setup. Once you make the mesh and everything else for your FEA. So double click setup here. And it should take you in this window. Now you will see something called your imported load. So to import the pressure, all you want to do is right click this, insert pressure. Give it a minute. So now it'll process your CFD file. And once you do that, you have to select your map surfaces, right? So you want to, the whole idea is to select, is to import your pressure from your CFD load, the wing surface into your FEA. So I will show, show you that step very quickly here. To import the pressure load, all you select is your geometry. So select the exact same surfaces as you had for your CFD. So in my case, they were all these ones here. You can do you can do this faster by selecting just a couple and then going extend to limits. So now it selects all the surfaces you need in the bottom as well. And not the sides because you do not use the sides. So just the top and your bottom, hit apply. And your CFD surface will be your wing surface here. If you can see that from my CFD simulation. And once that is done, you will simply hit right click and then hit import load. This takes a bit of time, so I will skip that, the importing part. And then I will now show you my FEA step by step. So here we are in the FEA. As you can see that my imported load has transferred. That's your pressure. So majority of it is pulling downward because you have a downforce instead of a lift. And my load transfer summary, if you click this option here, it tells you how much of your CFD load has been mapped over to your FEA load. And it says 100%, which is good. So my X component has been equal for the most part. Same with the Y. They're within 2%, which is acceptable. And if I have my uh, my analysis, I have put fixed support on both ends. As you can see here and here. And my solution has been solved. It is only a pressure load. I do not have any other loads besides the pressure load. So if, if you can see my stresses here, I have about 16 MPA on each side of the fixed support, which is, which is good. So the yield strength is about 50 MPA, so this is quite much lower, which is safe. And it can be seen here, that's your maximum stress because the part is held on both sides, so it will be near that area. And my deformation is only 2 millimeters. If I show you here, it is in the middle because that's where it is a free end because since these two are fixed, you will expect the most deformation here. Thank you very much for watching my video. I hope you guys learned something from this tutorial about ANSYS fluid structure interaction. It is quite a simple process, but you will have to be careful, especially when you transfer your load from your fluid dynamics to your structural mechanics. So this is the general idea of fluid structure interaction. You can also go into more advanced, such as um, vibrational modes and so on. But that's it for this video. I hope you guys learned something. If you have any questions, leave it below. Don't hesitate to contact me, message me. 
and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Have a good day. Bye-bye.